Hi everyone. So let's discuss about this important theorem. So here the statement is countable union of countable sets is countable. So before going to the proof of this theorem, first of all, let's understand the statement of this theorem, what it is saying about. So countable sets and the union of these countable sets. That means we have some countable sets, say A1, A2, A3, An, and so on. They are uh, talking about countable, not they are talking about finite or infinite. So these sets may be infinite. So these are the countable sets. Now we have to union these sets. That means n equals to 1 to infinity a n. This is the union of these countable sets and we have to prove that this union will be countable. Okay, so this is the statement of this theorem. Now how we can prove this theorem? Proof. So here a1, a2, a3 are our sets. So since these sets are countable, so we have two choices. Either these sets will be finite or the sets will be denumerable. Denumerable. Okay. Now, if it is finite, then it is okay that this, this will be um, countable. Now I am talking uh, to uh, taking that these sets will be denumerable. So, so if denumerable, then the elements will be in this form. A1 equals to the elements will be A11, A12, A13, A14, and A1n, and so on. Okay. Similarly, for A2, the elements will be A21, A22, a23, a24, a2n, and so on. Now for a3, you can write it a31, a32, a33, a34, a3n, and so on. Okay. In this way, in this way, we can write the elements of a n. And that will be a n one, a n two, a n three, a n four, and here a n n, and so on. Now our aim is that we have to prove that this union is countable. That means we have to find out a one one composition between the set, this union set, and the natural number. Okay. Now we have to form this union set. How we can form this? Okay. So the set is union n equals to 1 to infinity a n. And this is equals to. Now I will arrange the elements. Okay. In this, in that way, that the elements will form a 1 1 composition with the natural number. So first of all, write the first element a 1 1. Okay. And in A11, the sum of the index element is 2, 1 plus 1 equals to 2. Now, I am collecting those elements where the sum of the index elements are 3. So, the elements will be A21 and A12. So, from A11, I am going to A21 and then A12. So, the next two elements are A21, A12. Okay. Now I am collecting those elements whose sum of the index elements are four. Okay. So the elements will be A13, A22, and A31. So from A12, I am going to A13, then A22, and then A31. So the elements are A13, A22, A31. Okay. In this way, here the sum of the index is 4. Now I will find the elements where the sum of the index will be 5. Five. So the next element will be here A41. Okay. And from A41, we will get A32, A23, and A14. Okay. So we can write here A41, A32, A23, A14. 
so in this way we can cover all the elements which are which exist in these sets okay no elements will be left so this is the proper arrangement of the union set and here we may call it that this is our first element this is our second element this is third element this is fourth element in this union set that means the elements of this union sets are forming a one on correspondence with these natural numbers so we can call that this union set is countable this union set is countable so here i prove that countable union of countable sets is countable thank you